Hello friends, welcome or welcome back to my channel. For those of you who are new, my name is Michaela, and I make adult coloring and diamond painting videos here on this channel. And today I have my second ever post review video for you guys. And this canvas, you guys, is finally complete. This is Artist Room by Mrs. Butter D and Diamond Art Club. I'm gonna go ahead and quickly pan over the entire canvas for you guys so you guys can get a better look at it. Um, because I can only fit so much here in the frame. Um, but honestly, this canvas fits a lot better in the frame than, than uh, my Neon Capital Vegas diamond painting did. But you guys, look at this freaking beauty. It is just so stunning. And I'll give you guys a little bit of a pan over here as well. But like, look how gorgeous this painting is. I had such a blast working on this kit. Um, like I said, this is Artist Room, Mrs. Butter D, Diamond Art Club. We're gonna get into some, some specifics, so I hope you guys enjoy this video, and let's get right on into it. Okay, you guys, as you guys can tell, this canvas is so pastel, it's stunning. I wanna show you guys the tray of diamonds that I was working with. So this is the Elizabeth Ward tray, and um, I was able to fill up every single container, and then I had four of these little containers as well filled up. Um, but this is basically the array of colors, and can you guys just see how lovely and pastel this color range is? Absolutely stunning. Um, this kit was 46 colors, um, and there were three ABs. So the first AB we have is 122, and it is just this gorgeous green. God, this happened last time too. It's, it's probably not gonna focus, but we had a gorgeous green AB. We had this super pretty, like, corally, Maybe it would be easier to do it this way. Sure, a corally pink AB. And then we also just have 141, which is their typical white AB that you actually find in a lot of Diamond Art Club kits. Um, weirdly enough, not the kit I'm working on next, but um, yeah, those are all of the colors, basically minus four. Very pastel color palette, a uh, lot of purples and pinks and just really fun colors. Something I didn't mention in the unboxing video is that this kit actually has no 310s, which is black, which is honestly great. I, like, I don't mind working with blacks, but sometimes blacks can be number one trashy because they're dark colored drills. They can just not, for some reason, really dark colored drills sometimes don't produce well. Um, so this canvas did not have any. So the darkest color, I believe, was the 28, which was 938. Um, is the DMC, which is this. I don't know why my hand just did this. <laughs> but this is the, um, the closest we got to the black, and it's obviously not black, it's a dark brown. A lot of the piece was actually outlined in this color right here, which is 3857, which is this really beautiful dark brown. So that's what a lot of the piece was outlined in rather than black. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to show you guys the little tray here of colors, and I'm just popping up on my phone what I wanna talk about because I never can seem to remember just on my own while talking. Um, okay. Oh yeah, so I would say that there were plenty of each color left. As you guys can see, like I feel like I got way more than I needed with this number eight here. There's still a bunch. I think with this kit, I'm actually gonna keep the three ABs um, just in case I wanna use them on any future projects, but I think otherwise I'm gonna um, get rid of, I'm gonna say get rid of, but not really get rid of. I'm gonna dump um, the rest of the drills into my little vase thing that I have um, full of other round diamonds. So that's what I'm gonna do. The only color I think I got a little nervous about, there weren't a ton of them to begin with. This is the Y symbol and it's 37.55. And I don't know if you guys can see, obviously, obviously there were enough. However, this was the one color where I was like, mm, Diamond Art Club, I might be running a little low on this. Again, there weren't many to begin with in there, but I thought I was gonna run out. But otherwise, like, there were plenty of drills left, I feel like, in every color. So for the most part, I felt pretty secure. I guess another one that I maybe thought was this dividing sign symbol, not a ton left, but again, enough where if I would have had 
some sort of incident happen. I'm sure I lost some drills along the way, but I should have been fine, and I was fine. I love it when I'm <laughs> when I'm fine and don't need to contact them for drills. But um, yeah, I had plenty left over, and honestly, I don't think really any of these drills were trashy. There were um, there was no particular color at all that was like trashy. Um, but there were some within the colors, like you find one or two here or there that were like, had some trash kind of hanging off the edge, which makes like a not perfect circle. Um, but other than that, like I felt all the colors were totally fine and these were really well cut drills. So I was really happy about that. Um, and yeah, I already showed you guys the ABs. So I'm going to go ahead and put this down. And uh, I know I also took some other notes. I'm just gonna pull it up. Yeah, no trash drills really. One thing I do wanna mention, and I think you guys maybe can notice, it's a little hard to tell on camera, I think, at least from where I am situated, the purples, really, really gappy. And I feel like the other colors in this kit aren't really that gappy. Basically, by that, I mean they don't, I can't get them any straighter than this and they look like they have more space in between drills than they really should and I felt like only with this little like couple of areas with the purple is where that really shined through and I'm not entirely sure why that happened um I'm a little bit disappointed about that and I think that kind of like has led me to believe that I do prefer squares I definitely still like doing rounds but squares the end result is it straightens out kind of for you because you're literally putting drills directly next to each other and they fit snugly with rounds there is some normal gapping but the purples just seem really extreme so that was kind of my one gripe with this canvas I'd say um, yeah, that's kind of all I had notes wise on my phone when working on the canvas. This was a really like easy canvas to work up. Um, there were some decent confetti bits, which is when there are a lot of different color changes in one small area. But then there were also a lot of color blocking sections where there are more color or more of one color in one area. So like over here, we had some color blocking. Um, over here, obviously, we had some color blocking. And then um, I felt like the top half of the piece had more. Um, because we have the window of course we have the plant that's a little more confetti but like the window itself pretty color blocking um, the walls were very color blocking so those areas went by really fast and overall this was just a pleasure canvas to work on this was a canvas I was really excited about getting because number one it is absolutely stunning and number two my plans to hang it I'm actually going to hang it above my crafting area um, I just think it'll look really cute up there so this, honestly, it just felt perfect. Like, I don't paint, obviously, but as you guys are fully aware, I do other crafts. Um, I diamond paint and I adult color, and I feel like this canvas is perfect for people like me, and also for artists, obviously. But um, yeah, I will leave this canvas linked down below. You know, fun fact, um, Diamond Art Club actually restocked, restocked this canvas last night. Um, I will try to get this video up today. I don't know if it will. Um, right now it is Tuesday, August 22nd. And let me actually check their website and just see if it's still in stock as of the time I am filming. It is still in stock as of the time I am filming. Um, I just want to check one thing quick. Just checking their other piece. If it's anything like Witch Bedroom, it'll stay in stock for a little bit longer. They recently also restocked Witch Bedroom, which is another very similar piece to this one by Mrs. Butter D. And that's been in stock for a bit, but I kind of think Artist Room is a little more popular. But anyways, if you want to get your hands on it, uh, definitely pick it up sooner rather than later. Um, just because their canvases do tend to sell out pretty quickly. Um, hopefully it's still in stock by the time I upload this video, but yeah, that is really all I wanted to go through. And then the last thing I wanted to do was go through my little bullet journal here. I'll just zoom in for you guys a little bit here so you guys can see. Um, I have a running log of all of the diamond paintings. I've completed some information about the kit. I don't think I showed this in my last post review, but at the front here, I actually have all of my entire stash written out. So I have that as well. And I will go in with a highlighter dedicated to the year and I'm highlighting all the ones I complete. And then in 2024, I'll use a different color that, um, 
is not this light blue if you guys can see um, I'll use a different color for 2024 so I can see what I've completed in what year but um, anyways I just wanted to go through these stats really quick and what I'm gonna do is zoom in just a little bit so I can leave it here okay awesome so um, I love that it comes with a big sticker and a small sticker and then I put the washi tape that came with the kit on the outside and then I purchased this kit on April 23rd 2023 I started this kit on um, July 31st 2023 and completed it on August 21st which was yesterday so this kit took me about three weeks to complete which was probably about what I thought would be I thought it would maybe be a little bit less time than that maybe closer to two weeks but I'm not mad at all three weeks is a really quick finish so yeah this was round and I forgot to add that this is a full drill canvas oh I forgot to write it down hopefully I don't forget for next one <laughs> but I was like why do I have so much extra room with writing and I'm like oh, I just forgot to add that now there's no good place to put it so it's fine uh, I purchased this from Diamond Art Club um, I kept this kit I'm gonna hang it so I wrote kept um, total number of diamonds 28,576 so definitely not the largest kit I've worked on so far but a lot of diamonds nonetheless that is a lot of little little diamonds to stick on this canvas this is a 17 by 21 inch or a 42.6 by 52.7 centimeter kit so again not the largest one I've worked on but this is a pretty decent size and I feel like it's good for beginners um, this was 46 colors which was kind of a lot considering um, and three ABs and then this is my sixth kit I have worked on in my entire life and my sixth kit of 2023 because obviously I started diamond painting this year so yeah and also you guys look how cute my little cover is I um, got these three stickers from dreamer designs they were in um, the neon capital Vegas kit and um, I have the round one here because each dreamer designs kit a little off topic each dreamer designs kit has a sticker sheet that has um the little round diamond and the little square diamond but when i did my neon capital vegas i actually stuck the square here because that was the shape of the kit so whenever i get to a round dreamer designs kit i'm gonna go ahead and stick the square one on the other side so we're even but and then i got this little sticker when i bought my pretty placers so super duper cute but that was off topic but um yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video i had a ton of fun with this kit uh definitely let me know in the comments if you have any questions let me know what you're working on right now um my next kit is luna moth witch by diamond art club i'm excited it's a square um it's diamond art club it's their newer um square drills their newer canvases i'm very excited to work on it um, it has a lot of fairy dust drills and i'm gonna kit that up tonight i think so i'm very excited if you want to see an unboxing of that kit i will leave it linked down below for you guys i think that was my last video so that'll be what i leave linked down below but yeah thank you guys so much for watching if you enjoyed it make sure to give it a thumbs up hit that subscribe button down below if you're not already and i will catch you in my next video bye guys